Hello everyone. So today let us continue the journey of exploring Confluence REST API. Now in the previous video, I think I covered how to access the body of the content of a page, which is great, but uh, I thought maybe I'm uh, doing things uh, slightly quickly because before you can access the content of a page, you need to create a page. Then you also need basically a space where uh, you will have those uh, spaces where you will be doing wonderful things. So basically you need a space, you need a page, and uh, then of course you can work on doing other wonderful things. But I thought, let us start by just doing something very simple like retrieve the list of spaces. And this is what I normally do whenever, whenever I'm trying to, let us say, do something wonderful using REST API. I, I just uh, spend some time uh, and explore the documentation, the reference document, and I play with the endpoints. Because once you have uh, different uh, endpoints uh, uh, with working examples, maybe in your Postman or maybe using curl or maybe using uh, any other language that uh, you might need to use, then you are confident about building a solution. So in this video, what I want to do, I just want to write uh, this simple uh, shell script, which I have already written. It's not, a, not really a shell script, but a curl command to retrieve the list of spaces and let us see how it looks like. So before, of course, I can run this. I want to uh, see this uh, documentation. So here it says uh, that uh, you have the endpoint, which is wiki rest API space. Of course, you're talking about cloud. It is, of course, similar on uh, on a server. Uh, but of course, no, we'll, 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 we'll use a cloud version because uh, I don't really want to run a local cloud instance just to retrieve something from the uh, page. I already have this uh, online version, which is on cloud. And uh, I use this version, by the way, to uh, retrieve the page body, the content body. Now, if you look at this particular endpoint, uh, all you need to do, you need to hit this endpoint uh, and it will give you the output. So let me just uh, try to uh, show you this. So all I'm doing is I'm just doing a simple get method on uh, REST API space. And if I uh, run this, I'll probably run this uh, directly without any JQ command. Mm, come on, not the pipe. So if you run this, you will get this JSON and it is of course not really readable. So I'll pass it to JQ and uh, JQ will uh, display this nicely. And uh, I may want to also further do less so that I can uh, uh, browse, I, I can basically do up and down. So we have different spaces and uh, we can see here that we have the key and uh, of, of course, apart from key, we have a lot of wonderful things. And the good thing about GQ is that you can actually only retrieve in specific things. So instead of retrieving, um, instead of re re retrieving the whole JSON, maybe you can retrieve uh, only the key of your spaces and then dump it to maybe a text file, maybe, you know, if someone is asking you to get a list of all the conference spaces, you can do it very easily and quickly. And uh, what I want to do is I just want to also tell you that when you're, when you're looking at this particular uh, endpoint, you can simply uh, fetch this, um, this information for a specific space as well. So right now I have a space called delete have a space called uh, delete blah 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 so i can uh, also pass in here in the uh, in the endpoint as uh, the i mean we, we can pass in the issue key like for example del is one of my uh, space and if i do this again it will uh, give you this particular space only and it is of course wonderful i can also do something like two which is another space of mine i'll probably move my face on top so i'll do two and it will, of course, uh, give me that particular space only. This is great. And what I also want to do is I want to explore some of the expand options. So maybe, maybe I want to, so whenever you're dealing with REST API, you have some expand op options. Maybe you want to retrieve uh, the settings or maybe you want to uh, get the home page information. 
So if you're looking at the documentation and if you see something like expand, these are the options for you that you can uh, uh, pass. So for example, if I do something like space and uh, question mark expand is equal to home. So let us see if uh, this will uh, give us something different. So I believe, um, let me just uh, try to, yeah, I think I, 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 I think uh, we have this information, right? This was not there earlier. So let me just remove this. So things like expandable is not, oh, okay. We, do we have this here? How exactly is uh, this different? So let me just do this one more time. Question mark expand is equal to, is it home or home page? Yeah, it should be home page, come on. So let me do it one more time and uh, hopefully it will give us more information. I'm just trying to validate. So we have something like, uh, let me just do it like this. Okay. So we can see here that we have this home page information, which was not there earlier. So you can always, uh, you know, play with the expand options if you want. Let me just remove it and run it one more time. So yeah, we don't have that. So this is all great. And what I wanted to do, what I wanted to tell you is that if you also want, you can have multiple options. So instead of just maybe, maybe you want a home page along with the uh, operations. Let us see if we are able to maybe also retrieve something like operations. I guess. Do we have something? Yeah, we have operations. So this is something that you can use. And I'm showing you this example because uh, later on, we also want to create a space. And uh, and uh, I'll probably cover this in, uh, in the next video or maybe, you know, in the future video. But when you create a new new page, or not a page, but, but a new space, you have to pass a JSON. And if you're able to retrieve this information, you can actually copy this and uh, you can, you know, remove or modify things and pass it straight away. It should work. And, um, and uh, by the way, if you are following the, these videos on uh, Confluence uh, REST API, just like my Jira REST API uh, video series, wherever applicable, if there is a code involved, I will share the code. So let me show you the repository of uh, this particular this particular um, Confluence REST API. So if you go to my repository, I'll, I'll give you the direct link by the way. So don't worry too much about it. So I will share this link with you, Confluence shell scripts. So you will find uh, the scripts that uh, are hopefully useful. So maybe if you want to get the page body or in this case, so we are talking about uh, getting the space details or list of spaces, you can do that. So this repository is basically for you to uh, play with the endpoints without uh, worrying too much about what JSON body you need to pass. So you can also take a look at my Jira shell scripts uh, on my repository page here. So basically you have working examples that will get you started. So Jira shell scripts. And if you look at it, you will find a lot of examples, simple things, but useful, useful things. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.